friends, it's Miss Kendra. I found a really cool book. It's called Five Minute Pete the Cat Stories by James Dean. We have some really cool stories in here and I can't wait to share them with you. Are you guys ready to get started? Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana is going to be the first story. Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Pete the Cat loves bananas. He loves bananas because they are sweet and tasty. Plus, bananas are easy to peel. Pete can use his paws to peel a banana all by himself. Good job, Pete! Pete also loves bananas because they are healthy. They give him lots of energy to do fun things like run in races and play games. In the morning, Pete adds a banana to his cereal. Bananas taste great with kitty puffs and milk. Yum! Now Pete is ready for a great day. But one day, Pete eats a bad banana. The banana is gross. The banana is mushy. The banana is yucky. Pete's tummy hurts. I will not eat bananas again, Pete tells his mom. Pete's mom tries to help. She bakes Pete, Pete's favorite banana bread. It is warm and fluffy, but Pete will not touch it. What if it's yucky like the bad banana, asks Pete. Pete's mom keeps trying. She makes Pete a banana cream pie. Pete will not eat it. She makes Pete a big banana split. No thanks, Pete says. Pete is still hungry for a snack. Pete tries a lemon. It is yellow, like a banana. Maybe it will taste good like a banana, says Pete. He tastes it. Ooh, yuck, says Pete. The lemon is sour. Pete tries a pickle. It is long like a banana. Pete tastes it. Better, Pete says, but not as good as a banana. Pete tries an orange. Pete can peel it all by himself like a banana. Pete takes a bite. The orange is sweet and it is too juicy. It makes, peas, it makes Pete's paws sticky. Pete keeps trying to find a new favorite snack. Pete tries fish, rice, plums, hot dogs, watermelon, and his mom's nut bread. Pete eats them all. He is not hungry for snacks anymore. Pete is very full. One morning, Pete is getting ready for a big race. He is going to need lots of energy if he is going to win. He usually has a banana for breakfast before a big day, but not today. Pete wonders what he should eat instead. A pickle? No. Pete doesn't eat pickles for breakfast. A hot dog? No. Pete just had a hot dog for dinner last night. A lemon? No. That's just silly. Pete sees his friend Greg, the monkey, eating a banana. That's all Pete wants. Bananas are yummy and healthy. Bananas are the best. Pete decides to give bananas another try. Do you have another banana, Pete asks? Of course, says Greg the monkey. Pete is nervous to eat the banana. He peels it slowly and looks at it closely. It is not brown. It is not mushy. Pete takes a teeny tiny bite. It is a yummy banana. It is the best banana ever. Now Pete has lots of energy to run and run. Just as they approach the finish line, he runs just a little bit faster. Pete wins the race. Everyone cheers. Thanks for the banana, says Pete. Thanks for a great race, says Greg. Bananas are Pete's favorite food to eat again. He is absolutely bananas for bananas. The end. That was the first uh, short story, Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Are you guys ready for another Pete the Cat story? The next one I want to share with you is called Pete the Cat. Go, Pete, go! It's a beautiful day, and Pete the Cat has decided to take his bike for a ride. Nothing makes Pete happier than feeling the sun on his fur and the breeze on his face. Vroom, vroom! Turtle drives up to Pete in a race car. Wow, says Pete. Cool race car. Thanks, says Turtle. I just got it. I want to see what it can do. 
Who wants to have a race? Not me, says Grumpy Toad. My motorcycle has a flat tire. Not me, says Emma. My car is too old and slow. Not me, says Callie. My bus is a work of art. It is not meant for racing. I'll race you, says Pete, knowing how much Turtle likes to race. But your bike has no motor, says Turtle. My race car is super quick. I'll win for sure. That's okay, says Pete. I just want to try my best and have fun. Everyone is excited for the big race. On your mark, get set, go! Callie shouts. Turtle steps on the gas pedal and vroom zooms away. Check this out, shouts Turtle. He presses a button and fins appear. Whoa, do you see those fins? Now Turtle's race car goes even faster. Vroom, vroom. Pete waves goodbye and then pedals off. Pete's bike doesn't have fins, but it does have a basket. He stops and takes out a tasty red apple. Nothing is better than a tasty red apple on a beautiful day. Turtle sees that Pete is way behind. He spies a diner up ahead. Might as well grab a bite to eat, Turtle says as he pulls into the parking spot. Yum, Turtle says, eating a grilled cheese sandwich. He is in no rush. He is sure he will win the race. Dessert, the waitress asks. Don't mind if I do, Turtle says. While Turtle finishes his lunch, Pete continues pedaling. The sun is high and the breeze is blowing. It's a beautiful day for a race. Pete sees Turtle leaving the diner. Pete waves hello, but Turtle doesn't wave back. Turtle just jumps in his car and peels off. I guess he didn't see me, Pete shrugs, but Turtle did see Pete. He knows that Pete isn't going to give up easily, so Turtle presses a button and his but button and his tires inflate into a mag wheel that let him swerve around the curves at top speed. Vroom! You guys see how big those tires are? Turtle sees that he has a huge lead. That means he's really far ahead. He knows he's going to win. He stops for a nice cold glass of lemonade, and that's when he sees the hammock hanging between two trees. Do you guys see the hammock hanging between two trees right there? He's exhausted from racing so fast. He figures a quick nap will help him in the home stretch. Pete pedals past and sees Turtle sleeping. That's cool, Pete thinks as he rides by as quietly as he can. Turtle must be really tired. I'm glad he's getting some rest. Grumpy Toad finds Turtle fast asleep. Wake up, Turtle, says Grumpy Toad. If you don't get back in the race, Pete is going to win. That's impossible, says Turtle, thinking it must be a joke. But it's no joke. Turtle presses a button and rocket boosters appear, making him go super duper fast. Vroom! By the time Turtle nears the finish line, Pete has already won the race. Do you guys see Pete? He won the race already right there. How did you do it? Turtle asks. Slow and steady, Pete says. Maybe next time, instead of racing, we can ride together. Great idea, says Turtle. Now that Pete has won the race, it's his turn to drink lemonade in the hammock. What a great race. What a great day, Pete says. The end. All right, friends, I'm glad I could share these Pete the Cat stories with you. I hope to see you soon. Bye, friends.